Hi, I'm Sarah from So Sarah Style and this week we're talking drapiness. I hope you're well. Lovely to have you back here with me again. Um, this week I made my bowline sweater, which I talked about in the last vlog, which I'm currently wearing. Um, it's this paper cut patterns sweater with a slightly unusual pleat detail, which I'd had in my stash for ages, but never made up because I'd heard that it was relatively complicated to make. Well, this pleat was a little bit complicated. There's a kind of burrito technique in there, and I'm not sure even now whether I got it right. There was a certain element of fudging going on, and um, I'm not in any rush to show you the insides, but I think it kind of it works. I do really like it as a top. Um, the one thing I will say is you cannot get it out of a metre of fabric. I only had a metre of fabric from the, the rag market and I'm absolutely notorious for never reading the um, fabric requirements. In fact, it says you need 1.6 metres and um, I got it out. Well, I have got it out of a metre, but only because I cut the back on the cross grain and pieced it together. So we have vertical stripes down the back with um, a seam up the middle but I just wanted to get it I wanted to get it made um, in this particular fabric I also had some nice matching ribbing for the cuffs and the neckband and around the bottom so it worked out it worked out fine in the end there was literally no fabric left whatsoever um, the other thing that I made this week or have been making some costumes are these beauties which are the um the harem gold harem pants not for me for joseph um we're doing uh making costumes for joseph and his technicolor dream coat i used this butterick pattern um from 1990 which um as i said before i've made a few times and absolutely love i made it in this fantastic fabric it's just it's the perfect fabric really for harem pants it's heavy it's drapey and um I got I had two meters of this and was really hoping that there might be some left for me to make a little top with but unfortunately there wasn't they are so fabric hungry they've taken virtually two meters of fabric there's a little bit left so I can maybe squeeze something out but certainly not the drapey top that I was hoping to be able to make there's nowhere near enough for that anyway making these two have kind of kind of got me thinking really about my what I've kind of now realized is slight obsession with drapey asymmetrical sewing patterns including this one that's behind me, which is the McCall's 7262, which is actually supposed to be a knit cardigan pattern. But um, I've made it up in this, it's like a kind of imitation wool mix from Pan Fabrics. Um, I just had in my head that I wanted to make a sort of a, a Vivian West, Westwood style um, cardigan jacket. And when I saw that fabric, I thought, wow, that's amazing. Just put the fabric and the pattern together. And actually it worked really quite well. Um, Vivian Westwood is my absolute inspiration when it comes to, to sewing. When she sadly passed away at the end of last year, it was such a loss. She was incredible. I just love all her designs. I love the drapiness. I love all the corsetry. And obviously I could never aspire to making anything corsetry, but I can do the drapey. So that's really what started me completely on my sewing journey. I wanted to be able to make clothes that that I wanted to wear and thought right well I'll have a go at, at sewing my own so the very first pattern that I actually made up was this Butterick B5035 and it's this view here so if I show you on the back it's um it's like an asymmetrical drapey jersey top and I made it in a brown jersey and can I find it? I've had the whole house upside down. I know I've kept it, um, but I just can't find it, unfortunately. I um, I've got, I have made it a few times since, so I've got another version of it here, which looks absolutely nothing when I hang it up like this. That's that's the whole simplicity of it, to be honest. If you have a look here uh, at the pattern, it's literally one pattern piece with three seams. So. That's the neckline and it's not even finished. The seams aren't even finished. You just leave them to sort of curl under, which is just beautiful for me. Um, you sew one shoulder, two shoulders and a small side seam. The rest of it, that is, that's where it's folded over and that just creates the drape. So obviously I'll, I'll put pictures in so you can see. Um, the excitement, I can still feel it now. The excitement I felt when 
I created I created that garment. A, how simple it was, and B, I'd come out with something that not only that I'd made, but that I actually loved wearing. And I think that's kind of, that started me off on my sewing journey. So I think what I'll do now is show you some of the drapey items or asymmetric items that I've made over the years and perhaps give you a few ideas of things that if you'd like to make a drapey item yourself, I don't know, you might not be interested in drapey stuff at all. Um, in which case, there are, there are some plans at the end of the video which are fitted which I'm hoping to make up um, in the forthcoming weeks. So there'll be something there at the end of the video as well. In the meantime, I'll get on and show you some of the other things that I've made. This one's another version of the Butterick B5035. Um, I've made a few versions over the years. This one, um, I've added a neckband to it, um, which just think adds makes it a bit different. And you can see how crazy the stripes are because it's one pattern piece. It's literally just folded over so the stripes are going vertical at the back they're sort of twisted at the front um, I just think that gives a really nice effect so quite a few years after i made my favorite first ever butterick pattern um capsule patterns came out with an amazing drapey top which is really very very much vivian westwood inspired it is the cp lou a dress or top you can have it long sleeve or short sleeved but it's like a slash neck with a bit of pleating that goes on here, which then creates the pleats. Um, it's really cleverly cut. Again, it's a very, very simple pattern piece. These tend to be simple pattern pieces, um, but then it's just the way that they're cut, that they, they form these um, drapes across the body. So that, um, I can highly recommend the pattern. In fact, it's one of my, it's another one of my favorites if you're um, planning on making um, a drapey top or dress. Absolutely love that one. Um, another one, in fact, I think I've mentioned it in a previous vlog, is again, this is one of the first tops I made. Sorry, it's inside out. That's not very well planned, is it? It is this one, which you can obviously see the drape a bit, a bit more easily on this one. This is the Sew Me Something Peas Blossom top, which is really simple, slightly cropped, boxy top with, um, you've got the drape neckline on one of them or you can have a V-neck or um, a rounded neck. So obviously I haven't made the V or the rounded, I've only made the drapey and I'm planning on making another one of these because they are gorgeous. Once they're on, they're just really, really easy to wear. I absolutely love the colour of that. I think it's gorgeous. Um, another one that I've made up is this, which is the drop set. So it's a drop top or a drop dress by made it patterns which unfortunately is closed down now which is a shame because they made they've just made some beautiful patterns i really love their stuff um i made a couple of their their items and um i've made this in um this drapey again i really need to sort out these out before i start talking to you because this one's inside out as well i've clearly i've clearly not turned them the right way around after i've been modeling them so hang on hang on bear with me I will be with you in a second as I'm turning it furiously the right way around. So this, again, it's it's almost like a sweater top. It's very casual. Um, I've made it in this slightly less casual fabric. It's like a, it's a navy knit with a gold shimmer. It's like spider's webs, really. Um, it's a very strange shape. It's just kind of bulbous on one side, um, which then when you wear it, lifts up and the drapes are formed like that. Look at that gorgeous loveliness there. Um, that's how that's formed. But what I like about this again is that it is really casual. It's just like a, it's just like a t-shirt top really, but it just adds that little bit of interest down the side. So those are three of the one, three of the patterns that I've made. Actually forgot to say, um, if you're interested in making one of these, although made it patterns have, have closed, um, there are plenty of these available on eBay. So um, get yourself on there and have a look. Oh, so the other one that I've made then is, this isn't a jersey, um, but I just adore this. It's uh, just love it for the drape. This is the Sewing by Mason Sicily slip dress. So it's the bias cut on this one that causes the beautiful drape. So this is a woven instead of the rest of them are all jersey, but that's a woven. So you can actually get the drape through um, through a woven as well. So on to some patterns that I haven't actually yet made. Uh, but again, I've had a while and they need to get made up. This is the Vogue 
9005 and um, look at that they're kind of like goddess style drapey tops they are just gorgeous I don't know why I haven't made them up um, probably because lots of shiny new patterns keep coming along, don't they? But now I'm starting to talk and think about the drapey stuff again. How many times can I say drapey in a video, by the way? It was twirl last time. Now it's drapey. Please don't, <laughs> please don't count and let me know. Um, but I just think that will be absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to be looking out for a nice jersey to make that one up in. Um, another one that is quite interesting is, I don't know if anybody has ever made any patterns from this company, Stoff and still i think it's a danish company and um that is their asymmetric dress which just looks lovely um i don't know why i didn't make it up it's to be honest probably too small for me now anyway but their sewing patterns come on they're already cut out it's really clever i think probably i took one look at this again i ordered it a while ago and i probably wasn't that experienced and took one look at these and thought what on earth um, and then just fo pr promptly folded them back up, put them back in the pack and and buried them in a pile of patterns. So that's another one which I will actually this year be looking out. So I think I haven't made, I haven't done a, a make nine because I've probably got a, a make 99 to be honest. But this I will visit and have a look, um, even if I just make get it made up in a toile and just have a look at the sizing. I just think that's gorgeous. It, it's... Um, like a bit of a drapey neck and then it's a ruffle see that ruffle that goes down the side the um, skirt itself is asymmetric as well oh I just think it looks gorgeous so yeah let's get that one out and see if we can bring that one to life um, a lovely friend bought me the drape drape book again a while ago and um, I do take it out every so often and just kind of stroke the pages <laughs> and think that would be gorgeous um, if I could get it made up. But to be honest, I am a little, still a little bit intimidated by it. Um, that picture is just beautiful with the, with the, um, the tie detail. And there's a dress in here called the goddess dress, which um, actually doesn't look that complicated. That, that's the, uh, can you see that? Yeah, that's the goddess dress. It doesn't look that complicated until you see the patterns, which um, look quite terrifying, to be honest. So that's the pattern piece for the drawstring drape top. Um, and again, I don't think I've got anything to lose by just having a go. I have been stalking those hashtags for quite a long time, so maybe again, it's about time I had a go at that. Um, and finally, another pattern that I have is a vintage pattern and it's a uh, Versace pattern, darling, um, and it's Vogue 2702 from 1981. And I'll, uh, I'll put in a picture of what I think must have been, it must have become, come off the back of his 1981 spring summer collection, which was all about the drape. I mean, look at that. It's absolutely <laughs> incredible. I love uh, vintage patterns. I have quite a few of them. And what I like about them particularly is that, I mean, not only am I holding a piece of fashion history here in my hands, I can actually bring it to life. And that's what excites me more than anything is that I can just recreate that look um, myself, which is brilliant. So I have got some, uh, I mean, this takes let me I do need to have a look at this one because it's going to be a lot so for the tunic I wouldn't I wouldn't do the harem pants I'm kind of all harem panted out at the moment um tunic and sash was would take three and a half meters so as luck would have it I have got um a roll it's like a bolt of um navy jersey fabric it's, it's like an old t-shirting fabric I think that I picked up from a charity sale a few years ago so I've, I've used it for twirls and things. I'm going to try and make this up um, in that jersey fabric. I mean, it's not really the most wearable of tops. Um, and I don't know how I'll get on with that kind of tail thing between the legs. But, um, but I will give it a go. And actually, if I really hate it, I could always donate it to the school for costumes or even the back hem out. But I'm just really interested 
to have a go and just to see how it's made, how it's constructed and, and what it'll end up looking like. So that is a definite plan. Um, and I'll see if I can get that made up relatively soon so we can have a look at, uh, at what uh, what happens with that one. So that's pretty much all my kind of drapey, drapey stuff um, for today. Uh, I do have a few more patterns, but I'm not going to bore you with any others. Um, just to say that the other thing is if you were looking to make some yourself, um, I'll have a quick look and, and maybe put up a few ideas of, of other patterns that are around because obviously the B5035 is long gone. I mean, that's just, uh, you really would struggle to find that, I think, these days, which is a real shame because it's a perfect beginner, beginner drape pattern. Um, but it's been, it's long out of print. So, which is a, a good one for beginners or to get started might be this one, the drape top, which I think came free with a, with a sewing magazine. It's easily available on eBay and it's just a sleeveless, simple cowl neck top. Mood sewing patterns have um, a dress called the tulip dress, which just looks beautiful as well. Again, slightly asymmetric on the neckline and a beautiful draped skirt. So perhaps that's one for to keep for um, frugal frocks. I'll maybe have a look into that for that one. Um, there are quite a few hacks that you can get, actually, if you have a look online, just to turn a normal top into a cowl neck by adding slashes, just adding some width, just to make the front drape. Um, so there are, there are a few patterns around. There's also um, one called the curve, curvy drape dress. Um, I can't think who it's by at the minute. I'll put a picture in and some information in there for you. So uh, another top that I'd really love to make, it's on my very long list of things, is the Sky Top by Fibre Mood Patterns. It's a, like a sort of a high, slightly drapey neck and um, some ruching um, on the shoulder, which just gives it a very unusual shape. It's got a zip in the back, long sleeves, um, and I think it looks beautiful. You could make it up in an, in various different fabrics. It could look a bit more casual if you made it in a cotton or you could make it in a drapey, silky fabric for uh, for going out in the evenings. I think that's just a really lovely, funky top. So I'm hoping to be able to try that at some point. But again, like I say, it's a very long list of patterns to make. But that's maybe giving you a few ideas um, of things that, you know, if you're interested that you could make yourself, perhaps. I don't, I don't know. Like I say, maybe you hate drapey stuff. <laughs> I just happen to absolutely love it. So on to plans for next week and not a drape in sight, I promise. Um, last week I went to the social studio. Um, they did an afternoon tea to showcase their the new spring summer um, fabrics. And um, we had a brilliant time. It was such a lovely afternoon. And they had um, some um, Bengaline fabric, which um, is really hard to come by. I haven't seen it very much. Um, but I will just show you what I picked up. It's like um, a cotton, but it's got a decent amount of stretch. So this is um, obviously a brown zebra in my usual colours. Sorry, there's not much colour in this uh, this week's video, is there really? Um, but I did buy two because I don't, I don't see it very often. Um, this one's quite a cool geometric geometric print. As soon as I saw this, I thought, oh, trousers, nice stretch across the backside. So I have got, which I've been make, wanting to make up for a while, are the Sew Over It um, Ultimate Trousers. So the plan is to make a pair of these. I'm going to twirl them first because obviously with trousers, it's always worth doing a twirl in um, this fabric of deep, deep stash fabric. I think I ordered it online and it's got, it's got a similar amount of stretch. It's just not, the quality is not very nice. It's kind of, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine for twirls. So that is my plan. So I'm hoping to have a pair of trousers to show you for next time. Um, and you never know, I might even make a drapey top to go with them. So thank you so much for watching to the end. I hope I haven't bored you too much with my obsession. Um, and maybe you've come out with a few ideas of, uh, of drapey patterns that that, uh, that you'd like to make. Also, please feel free to leave comments of any drapey patterns that you've used that uh, that you think that, that I might like or anybody else might like. Because actually, to be honest, I don't. there's not a huge amount out there, whether it's just not in fashion, I'm not sure. But um, it's obviously, as you can tell, a style that I like. So thank you to everybody again who's liked and commented and subscribed. Um, I really do appreciate it. Thanks. Take care. Bye.